Hi, my name is Shanice Elifay, and I'm a singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and producer. When I was growing up uh, in Harlem, uh, in New York City, it was, it was pretty rough uh, back in those days, uh, back in the 80s, 90s. And um, my parents didn't want me to get wrapped up in the things in the neighborhood, you know, the violence and the, uh, the drugs and whatnot. And so for me, um, you know, I had toy instruments lying around and uh, they, were like, they were like games for me. My background began in the church uh, and in gospel music. I started on um, piano and keyboard. And um, when it comes to uh, production, one of my favorite instruments that I've recently uh, come, come to uh, add to my arsenal of instruments is the Artifon Instrument One. Um, it's an amazing MIDI controller. It's something like nine instruments in one. It's very versatile for a musician like me because, uh, say, you know, I play guitar and piano and percussion. This MIDI controller can convert into all of those things and more. So it makes the work process really seamless. I can go from playing, you know, guitar voicings to laying the uh, instrument one out like a like a keyboard and even like a drum pad. Hey, my name is Julian Evans from AudioWorks NYC, and I'm with you today recording Shanice Elifay with Amplified, presented by Adorama Music. So today we're in a sort of small, medium-sized church in Murray Hill in New York City. Uh, I mean, obviously the natural acoustics of this place, of any church hall, is um, a, a, a property of the space. It's a characteristic, you know, when you think of a church, you also think of the sound of a church and how, you know, every step that you take inside of a church and the sound that is made inside of a church evokes a certain ambiance. And I think that, you know, there's also something to be said for, um, you know, the roots of gospel music and church music being inside of here. So today we absolutely were recording a uh, stereo room microphone with a Zoom H6. Uh, the XY cardioid uh, capsule in a 120 degree pattern. Selecting microphones for Shanice, I went with on vocals the Shure SM7B. For her acoustic guitar, I used the Neumann TLM 103. On her timbales, I have a Shure SM57. On the grand piano, I've got two Rode TF5 microphones. And uh, on her DI, I've got a Radial Pro D2. Selecting Shanice's vocal microphone, I knew that I wanted to uh, make a microphone selection that was going to be in line with her influences. The Short SM7B is a classic hip hop microphone that's also gonna sound uh, really great and flat for a variety of vocal applications. Uh, I wanted something that has a real laser focus on the voice. Uh, something that's really going to show it off and sort of give you that sonic perspective of basically being like, you know, right, right here. The reasons it's used for so many uh, sung vocal applications is because the focus of it is so close. Um, it feels in a way, uh, in a lot of ways, like a shotgun microphone, um, but with a more openness to it and um, a lot more fullness and evenness to the sound. I pay my bills in The first song uh, I sang, Scream My Blues, um, it's an homage to Harlem. Uh, at the time I was writing it, I had just moved back to New York City after living in Australia for a few years. And Harlem had gotten so expensive, it was totally different from the place I described earlier in my childhood. It was, it was so fancy and overpriced. I, I thought I'd be coming to return to my home to uh, you know, make music and be a star. I thought it was just going to be so easy. And when I started dealing with the financial struggles and even some of the social tensions and things in you know, the only home I'd ever really known, I just remember being very frustrated with the situation. Scream My Blues, uh, I played that on a Fender uh, acoustic guitar. I um, wanted to get this sort of gritty acoustic feel with the tension of the blues chords. Um, you know, the, the beginning riff is sort of like a minor blues. It's pretty common. 
but the bridge breaks out into a, a, a rock bridge. The progressions change, um, it, it breaks out of the blues format. The track I have for Scream My Blues has a, sort of a, a nice synth pad in the background combining all of these, these worlds together. One of the things that really helped me to finish Limbo was really clutch was the Artifon Instrument One. Uh, I was introduced to the MIDI controller, the, the Instrument One at a time where um, what I needed to finish my EP was a MIDI controller. At the time I, I didn't have one, I was in the market for one, I didn't know what kind to buy, if I should buy one that was you know like a keyboard or what, and the Instrument One came at the perfect time. Uh, Limbo being a song that's a perfect example of how the instrument one really changed the game because uh, it comes down, down to the bridge, the breakdown section, for example. Um, we have like the pad. Um, it was so easy to play the instrument one, to play sort of like, to play a string sound, but voice it like a guitar, which is super important. I didn't have to learn keyboard voicing. I was able to, to play the same chords essentially that I play on guitar on the instrument one and still get uh, a string or a synthesized feel, so that was really nice. Yeah, so Freedom, um, that song came about, you know, during the, the pandemic, you know, we've all been locked down and it was just getting really frustrating it's, it was you know I could go for a walk to the supermarket that's just about it you know I wanted it to feel as if a DJ had found an old gospel record took it chopped it up and then paired it with loops I wanted to feel like a DJ put this song together and that was what the process was sort of like recording it um, I recorded the vocals a cappella first um, and then after recording the vocals, the basic freedom and the harmonies, the call and response, I wanted to, you know, feel like kind of a lead singer in a choir type of deal. It felt, it felt like such a good song and so necessary for these times. It's really fun playing the piano here. It's such a beautiful space um, to do it. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's freedom. Love you. I'm very excited to, to make healing music accessible to anybody who has ears to hear. It's, it's, it's free energy. I was blessed to be able to benefit from these frequencies and it's an honor to be able to share this with anyone uh, who, who wants to listen and anyone who enjoys it. So it's, it's out there, it's everywhere, and I hope you're enjoying it.